What is going on, guys? Gray here today. I'd like to talk about the new maps we got with Season 1 here in Black Ops Cold War. I've been playing all morning, uh, really enjoying uh, the three maps that we got. Of course, the one map that I'm on right now is the Pines or the Mall at the Pines. Of course, we got a redone kind of holiday-themed Nuketown, so it's really not a new map. And then, of course, the remastered uh, Raid, which is absolutely incredible. I'm going to save it for last because it's my absolute favorite map probably in Call of Duty history. Definitely in my top ten. But uh, Mall at the Pines is very, very neat looking. It looks like a mall from the 80s. I was born in the early 80s myself, so this looks like a mall uh, that I was used to going to as a kid. You know, it has an arcade, it has a lot of shops, it has a lot of stores. It's got those neon kind of trimmed uh, signs around, you know, uh, the crazy looking carpet in the stores. And it's checkered and in different multicolored prints. It is just a very neat design map. Now, I will say it is very, very big. It's a little too big, in my opinion, for 6v6. And the other issue is there's tons of places you can head glitch and tons of corners you can hide in. And as good as the MAC-10 is with uh, the Season 1 uh, kind of update, uh, you definitely better watch out because I got destroyed by the MAC-10 on this map. Several times people being in corners or whatever the case may be. But like I said, as you can see, here's the arcade. It's just a very neat design map. It's just a map that, like I said, reminds me of you know, being a kid in the 80s, going to the malls. And I know even if you're not a person that was born in the 80s, if you were born after the 80s, uh, you're still going to be able to appreciate just the design of the map. I think it is a very neat looking map. It was a very cool idea. Now, when it comes to Nuketown, the whole theme of Nuketown, kind of going to that Christmas theme, is, is neat in my opinion. But the problem is, it's at night. And this is very, very dark. Uh, these dark kind of style maps, uh, I'm not a big fan of in this game. It's hard to see people as it is. And now people can hide in the garages on either house, yellow or green, very easily. And they are very hard to pick up unless you're running like a flashlight or something else going to reveal enemy distance or enemies' names at further distances. So just be, be aware of that if you have not played this nighttime Nuketown yet. I'm not sure if this is going to be something they keep in here permanently or if they're going to change the look of it from season to season. You know, maybe if there's different holidays out, they're going to change the theme of Nuketown to kind of match that holiday. I think that would be kind of a cool idea. But overall, the whole Christmas, you know, holiday theme aesthetic or aesthetic with the, uh, you know, the lights and that kind of thing is very neat. And if you do notice right up here on the garage door, those windows are now blacked out. You cannot shoot across from the opposite house, yellow house to green garage and shoot someone through those top windows. I'm not sure if it's the same in normal Nuketown. I've not played it today, but I did notice that was something that had changed in this version you know, kind of the Christmas-themed, holiday-themed Nuketown. Overall, it's still fun. It's still a cool-looking idea for a Nuketown. I'm just not sure if I'm a big fan of the whole nighttime idea, but I understand they kind of had to do that to get the Christmas theme kind of going, you know, kind of get that idea across with the lights and everything. And last but not least, the map that I have been absolutely so excited to play. Kid not wait for it. That is Raid. Uh, Raid, of course, is the exact same as it was in Black Ops 1. No changes, you know, to any kind of buildings, uh, design or anything like that. It's just an upgraded visual version of Raid from Black Ops 1. Like I said, kind of at the start, which in my opinion is probably one of my top 10 maps, uh, favorite of all time. Maybe my favorite map of Call of Duty of all time. I don't know. It's definitely up there. But it is a, a blast to play. Uh, it's a fun map if you like to uh, quick scope. You can run around quick scope. A very fast paced map. Do be aware I was playing Team Deathmatch on this uh, particular mode right here that you're seeing kind of in the gameplay. And the spawns do flip very, very quickly. So be aware of that because it's not a very big map. But that's one thing that I do like about it because it has a very quick pace to it. Uh, and it's just very enjoyable. It's that nostalgia. That one of my, like I said, one of the best maps of all time, in my opinion. I know a lot of people loved it in uh, Black Ops 1. And I was really happy to see this come back. This really hope makes me hope they bring some other maps back from some you know Black Ops One two days, uh, kind of like I talked about the other day, some remastered maps that I would like to see from other Treyarch games, uh, because they did a wonderful job in my opinion with Raid, and I was really happy to you know get in and be able to play this. And this is the only time in my opinion, uh, or, or really in my time playing the game, to my best of my knowledge, that I have seen Nuketown come up and everybody not vote for. It. Every time Nuketown and Raid are kind of going up in the map pool against each other to be voted for, Raid is pretty much getting voted for hands down every time, which is really neat to see. That shows you how much people really enjoy this map. Of course, guys, if you enjoyed the content here on the channel, make sure you, uh, you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They still have their sale going on, and you can use my affiliate link that is down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.